a true legend with his name inked in history as the greatest featherweight fighter in the UFC. Jose Aldo is one of the most incredible athletes you'll ever see in the octagon. The name Jose Aldo would ring out for ages as being one of the best. He's had a phenomenal career that spans over two decades. But what's even more amazing is that he's still fighting to this day. He finds the strength to still be among the best because of his foundation in MMA and his upbringing. So stay tuned as we bring you the amazing history of Jose Aldo and how it all started for him. But be sure to stick to the end where we reveal the staggering amount of cash he's earned for being a top contender in the UFC. Let's begin. Jose Aldo Jr. was born in Manaus, Brazil on the 9th of September 1986. Aldo wasn't much different from the other poor kids growing up in Manaus, Amazonas in the 1990s. Son of Jose Aldo and Rosalind Suosa, he was a sports enthusiast from an early age. But watching his father struggle to get money to even eat and support his family didn't give him many options. At the same time, Aldo describes his family as one filled with lots of love, so they overcame many obstacles together. One of the biggest obstacles that Aldo had to face in his life was when his parents split. He was a good fan of football and his mum very much supported his dream to become a professional. So seeing her leave killed his dream to go pro and his will to continue indulging in the sport. It was only Jose Aldo and his father from then on as the family decided he should stay with his father. Working hard hours as a bricklayer, Jose Aldo's father couldn't give his son a great life. He provided Aldo with a place to sleep and food to eat, but Aldo wanted more. On the side of his daily life struggles, Aldo usually took out his frustrations in street fights with other kids who teased him because of his background. Obviously, Aldo got angry and tried to fight back, but he would eventually end up on the corner of the road beaten to a pulp. Aldo got tired of this lifestyle and what he did next to find the champion in him we see today. Aldo entered a capoeira class and everyone around him could tell he was talented. Kicks, spinning kicks, he had it all. Capoeira wasn't going to make him any money though. In fact, it was taking some of the scant money he made helping his father at work. But that's when jiu-jitsu entered his life. He met a jiu-jitsu trainer, Marcio Pontes, who opened a jiu-jitsu gym in Aldo's neighborhood to help kids around. Pontes heard of a little kid named Jose Aldo Jr., who was a beast in capoeira and decided to invite young Aldo over for a tryout in jiu-jitsu. As you would expect, Aldo was very, very good. In fact, he was among the best. And that's when he decided to join the gym. Aldo didn't quit school. He wouldn't even stop helping his father at work. His routine got harder because Pontes signed him up to compete in every single tournament they had the chance to enter. Pontes wanted his gym to be popular, wanted more students, and Aldo became his little student. But Aldo didn't mind because all he wanted was to go to Rio de Janeiro and win a tournament there, just as he promised his mum. Finally, he got the opportunity to go to Rio. Getting to Rio with his trainer and coach Pontes, Aldo was able to win numerous tournaments and from there train harder in MMA. Known by the nickname Junior, Jose Aldo fought his first professional MMA fight at the age of 17 at Eco Fight 1 on the 10th of August 2004. He fought fellow countryman and newcomer Mario Bigola, whom he defeated by knockout just 16 seconds into the first round. At the time, Aldo had no house to live in as the cost of living in Rio de Janeiro was on the high side, but Aldo didn't care. He lived in his gym and slept on the same jiu-jitsu mats he and his teammates spilled blood and sweat on every day. It was his little price to pay to become the best. Aldo fought fellow Brazilian Hudson Roca in his second fight at Chuto, Brazil. The fight was ended by a doctor stoppage at the end of the first round due to a cut over Roca's left eye which was caused by a flying knee thrown by Aldo following by a barrage of punches. Roca was able to get back to his feet only to be met with more strikes and a knee before Aldo kicked his legs out from under him. Five months later, he fought MMA newcomer Luis De Paolo at Chuto Brazil 7. Aldo took De Paola down in a clinch early on in the fight. He quickly gained mount where he rained down punches before transitioning to an arm triangle choke forcing De Paola to tap at 154 of the first round. And just like that, Aldo became invincible in MMA. Aldo was on a 7-0 record in MMA under the featherweight division. He decided to try out for a higher weight class, the lightweight division, but it was met with an overload of disaster. On the 25th of November 2005, Aldo went up against Luciano Azevedo at Jungle Fight 5 in Brazil. 
Aldo did a great job in his first round by countering Azevedo's takedowns, but in the second round, Aldo made the huge mistake of giving up his back, allowing Azevedo to secure a win via a tight rear naked choke. It wasn't the first defeat of his life, as he'd had to deal with many of them before in his jiu-jitsu career, but tapping to Luciano Azevedo at Jungle Fight almost made him quit MMA. Aldo considered going to college because he was just 19 years old at the time, but his friend and coach Pontes decided to take a huge bet on Aldo's talent by advising him to stay in MMA rather than go off to college. After a few struggles here and there, Aldo finally got a contract with World Extreme Cage Fighting, aka the WEC. He made his debut at WEC 34 against renowned fighter Alexander Franca Nogueira. Aldo won the fight via TKO after going all in with a flying knee and punches. From there, he was washing through the division, slicing through every opponent like a hot knife through butter, until he was given the opportunity to fight for the featherweight championship. He faced Mike Brown at WEC 44 for the title. The words of his wife, Pereira Aldo, sang through his brain as he faced Brown that night. She said to him, don't forget, you're fighting for the key to our home. That made Aldo hungry for a win. He eventually won the fight via TKO in the second round and became the new WEC featherweight champion. Less than a year later, on the 28th of October 2010, World Extreme Cage Fighting merged with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. As part of the merger, all WEC fighters were transferred to the UFC. Aldo became the inaugural UFC featherweight champion, receiving the first ever UFC featherweight title belt on Saturday, November 20th, 2010 at UFC 123. Joining the UFC made him a star. At the same time, he was defeating previous stars in the UFC, like Uriah Faber, Chad Mendes, the Korean Zombie, Frankie Edgar, and a lot of other fighters in their prime. He was the king of the featherweight division until a man named Conor McGregor came along. Jose Aldo was on an 18-fight win streak, was undefeated in eight years, and was holding a record of nine successive title defenses. Aldo was scheduled to fight Conor McGregor on the 11th of July 2015 at UFC 189. But on the 30th of June, Aldo pulled out of the fight, citing a rib injury that made him unable to fight. Chad Mendes took his place and was defeated by McGregor for an interim title. He was then slated to face the notorious Conor McGregor at UFC 194 for another title defense. As expected, it was filled with a lot of trash talk, with Conor even going as far as calling him a dead man walking and a effing Brazilian. Conor tried to attack Aldo during the press conferences and even posed with the belt numerous times before the fight. Conor McGregor was all up in Jose Aldo's face, but no matter who you are or how good you are at predicting the outcome of a fight, you would never in your wildest dreams have predicted the turnout of that fight. In Las Vegas, Nevada, on the 12th of December 2015, Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor shocked the entire world with the most insane main event they put up. Just 13 seconds into the first round, Aldo attempted to rush McGregor with a barrage of jabs but McGregor threw in a left understrike that sent Jose Aldo diving to the canvas. And just like that, folks, in just 13 seconds, Jose Aldo's decade-long undefeated streak got ended in one of the fastest title fights in the UFC. From there, things weren't so glamorous for Aldo anymore. He faced Frankie Edgar at UFC 200 for a rematch, which he won to become the interim featherweight champ. But at UFC 212, he lost the unification bout to another legend in the featherweight division, Max Holloway. From there, he held a 2-4 record before finally leaving the featherweight division to the 135 weight class. Before we talk about his time at bantamweight, let's discuss how much Aldo's made for being a true warrior and a legend in MMA. But before we do, if you're a new subscriber to our channel, comment I subbed in the comment section down below and instantly get qualified for our monthly new subscriber shoutout. If you want a free shoutout in one of our next videos, then go comment I subbed right now. Jose Aldo has made bank in his legendary career. He earned $6,000 in his very first professional MMA fight, but made his first six-figure purse after defeating Mark Hominick at USC 129. He earned a total of $177,000 from that fight. His biggest purse came from his rematch win against Frankie Edgar at UFC 200. He earned a staggering purse of $515,000. 400,000 to show, 100,000 win bonus, and 15,000 bonus from his Reebok sponsorship. 
He has total career earnings of $6,262,500 and an estimated net worth of $9 million. Aldo is married to Vivian Pereira, who has a purple belt in jiu-jitsu and has fought twice professionally in Muay Thai. Their daughter, Joanna, was born in 2012. On the 19th of December 2022, at UFC Fight Night Thompson vs. Neil, Aldo fought Marlon Moraes in his UFC bantamweight debut. He lost the fight via split decision, and in his next fight was scheduled to face Piotr Yan for the vacant UFC bantamweight title, following Henry Cejudo's retirement. It was one heck of a fight, a cold war in fact, but once again, Jose Aldo fell short and lost the fight via TKO in the fifth round, with just above one minute to end the entire fight. Aldo is now on a three-fight win streak and is still fighting in the bantamweight division. Aldo has the most wins and knockouts in UFC and WEC featherweight history. He's a legend and he's still competing. What's next for Jose Aldo? Make sure you check out this other video showing on your screen and bye for now.